did my final video project over saltwater aquatic biomes. I chose this because it is one of the most diverse biomes on Earth. Three important parts of the ocean are intertidal zones, coral reefs, and the open ocean. Here's some more information about them. Life began in oceans billions of years ago. We have animals and everything today because of what started then. The first zone we'll be talking about is called the intertidal zone. This is a narrow band of coastline that exists between many levels of high tide and low tide. Characteristics of this is that it has very steep rocky areas that goes out to broad mud flats. Waves crash under shore making it very difficult for the life that is here to not get washed away. Examples of things found here are barnacles, sponges, algae, mussels, and crabs. A lot of light is found here as well. Coral reefs are our next zone. These are very popular parts of the ocean because they are bright in color and feature a lot of different life. These are found past shorelines and it is the most diverse of all marine biomes. Corals live in water that is poor in nutrients and food. Coral is also a tiny animal that secretes a layer of limestone to form its skeleton. An interesting fact is that each coral is very small and mostly live in vast colonies. A new issue with coral reefs is the issue of coral bleaching. This problem is where algae inside corals die, creating very light, white-looking coral. Unfortunately, this coral bleaching can be found on the world's largest coral reef, also known as the Great Barrier Reef. This reef is a surprising 2,600 kilometers squared in length. The last zone I'll be discussing is the open ocean. Sunlight generally does not extend below 650 feet in this area. The three zones are the upper zone, which is where the basis of the food web occurs, secondly, the benthic zone, and thirdly, the photic zone. Hope you learned a lot about all these zones of the ocean. Thanks for watching my presentation.